What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of my CD and my hip hop review. Um, let me see Rich here. As you can hear in the background, um, excuse me. As you can hear in the background, the CD I'm reviewing is Snoop Doggy Dogg Doggy Style, released in 1993. This is not the original cover, um, this is the original cover of the CD, um, I actually bought this off Amazon and like the front booklet was torn or some shit like that, but other, other than that, you guys should know who Snoop Dogg, Snoop Dogg is. He's an MC from Long, Long, um, I think Long Beach, California, and stuff like that. You know, he got his name. <clears throat> he got his name from, you know that that dog, um, Snoopy from, the, you know, the whole Peanuts series and stuff like that. And like, you know, when he was young. He got in a lot of trouble with the law and stuff like that. And of course he was a crip. Plus, um, what else? What else? What else? You know, to get him out of that trouble, he, he started like rapping. Excuse me, he started rapping and he formed his own group called 213, which is actually his area, his area code and stuff like that. And, you know, he formed that with his, I believe, Nate Dog, his cousin Nate Dog. Yeah, Nate Dog was his cousin, Warren G and Lil Half Dead. And so Dr. Dre, um, he recorded a, he recorded like um a, a mixtape and a demo and like one of the songs, I think he was rapping over and Vogue's Hold On, I believe. And like Dr. Dre he heard it and he thought it was dope and stuff like that. So he and then he just took an interest in Snoop Dogg and like D DOC, he has the same DOC that did that album No One Can Do It Better he um he basically mentored Snoop Dogg and he basically like structured his rhyming st stuff it's kinda like how Large Professor was mentoring Nas early in his career and stuff like that so you guys know what I mean then fast forward to 1992 he appeared, his first appearance on Wax was the song Deep Cover Off the Soundtrack, which was a very, very dope song, very dope soundtrack too. If I get a copy of that, I'll most definitely do a review on it, but like a lot of people kind of like, like, who is this dude right here and stuff like that. Then that same year, he appeared, he appeared on Dr. J's The Chronic album, which was like... Which was like um very groundbreaking album at the time, and like he was featuring like I think almost half of the songs and stuff like that, and that kind of raised his popularity. And between that late, between that year and 1993, he dropped this album right here. You know, this is a classic hip hop album, definitely. In my opinion, Dr. J's best beats are on this album. Definitely Snoop Dogg's best album and stuff like that. You know, every song on here was produced by Dr. Dre and executive produced by Sir Suge Knight. And like singles I'm known for are Gin and Juice, um, Murder Was the Case, Who Am I, What's My Name, and Doggy Dog World. Believe it or not, this was actually the fastest selling hip hop album before Abinem's Marshall Mathers LP. So that just proves how popular this whole album was. Like this album is smooth, like gangster rap, but still it maintains that hard edge to it. Track number one is this basically like a skit called like Bathtub. Just basically a little skit where Snoop Dogg basically talks about 
Um, I mean, he's just like his girls are all in his bad time and stuff like that. He's just chilling. And of course, he uses that classic Curtis Mayfield sample. I'm not gonna tell you the sample. You have to find it yourself. George Clinton on the intro, um, Dr. Dre and Lady of Rage, excuse me for a minute, yeah I'm back, um, this is basically a Lady of Rage kind of solo song, Lady of Rage, one of the most underrated MCs ever in my opinion, if you don't believe me, check out her first album, Necessary Roughness, released in 1997, you won't be disappointed, you know. Number three, Gin and Juice. Um, back on vocals from that nigga Dash. I shouldn't even be talking about the song. This song is a classic hip hop song. Definitely one of my favorite songs from Snoop Dogg. Basically, just put him in the map, in my opinion. Um, you know, classic song. I love that slave interpolation he used. His smooth flow on the song. Shit like every single day. May I kick a little something for the G's and make a few ends as I breeze through. Two in the morning and the party still jumping cause my mama ain't home. I got bitches in the living room getting it on and they ain't leaving till six in the morning. So what you want to do? Shit, I got a pocket full of rubbers and my homeboys do too. So turn off the lights and close the door. But for what? We don't love them hoes. Yeah. So we gon' smoke a house to this. Jeans up, hoes down. Why you motherfuckers bounce to this? As I said before, um, this um, song was actually nominated for the a Grammy Award back in 95 for Best Rap Solo Performance. But it lost to Queen Latifah's UNITY, another dope hip hop song off of Black Rain album. Um, track number four is a skit called W Ball. It's basically easy to eat this. You're tuned into the biggest balls of them all, DJ Suck, T Nuts. Hey, don't forget about my homeboy, Easy Dick, in the Jack Off Hour. That's happening at 12 o'clock tonight. Right now, we got some new Snoop Doggy Dog for that ass. This one is called The Shiznit. You're about to go downtown, bitch, right here on the station that plays only platinum hits. That's 187.4 on your FM dial if you're licking that W Balls. Everybody's got to Track number five, The Shiznit. One of my favorite songs off this album. That's, I love that beat. Da, 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 da. A little, little, little trivia I forgot to mention in the beginning. Some of the songs in this album, Snoop Dogg freestyled on the spot. And like, this is one of the first songs to like freestyle to and stuff like that, so. Okay. DOC actually um, said that. And by the way, though, he dissed um, Uncle Luke or Luther Campbell um, in the second verse of the song. So 
you know, cause Luke, he was having a beef with Snoop and Dr. Dre, you know, cause you know, Dre dissed them on Dre Day, long story, I'm gonna post, I'm gonna post some stuff, you know, but now I make it every single day with that nigga, the diggy Dr. Dre, so lay back in the cut, motherfucker, before you get shot, it's 187 on the motherfucking cut. Yes, indeed it is. Snoop Dogg is on the mic. I'm about as crazy as biz. Marquee, spark the chronic bud real quick. And let me get into some fly gangster shit. Yeah, I lay back, stay back in the cut. Niggas try to play the D.O.G. like a mutt. I got a little message, don't try to see Snoop. I'm finna fuck a bitch, what's her name? It's Luke. You try to see me on the TV. Use a BG, D.O. double G. Yes, I'm a OG. You can't see my homie Dr. Dre. So what the fuck are you like you gotta say? Yes, I said before, dope song. That's the one thing I loved about Snoop back in this era. He, his flow was unstoppable. Like he had that nice ass flow. Next song is Lottie Dottie, which is basically um a cover of the classic Slick Dougie Fresh and Slick Rick. Song released, released back in like 19, I think up to 1985. So he put his own gangster twist into it. We don't bother nobody where just to make us so on the mic. And when we rock up on the mic, we rock the mic for all my dogs, keeping y'all in hell just to see you smile and enjoy yourself. Cause it's cool when you cause a cozy conditioning, which we create. Cause that's our mission. So listen close to what we say. Because this type of shit happens every day. I woke up around 10 o'clock in the morning. I gave myself a stretch up a morning yawning. Went to the bathroom to wash up. I threw some soap on my face and put my hands up on a cup and said, um, mirror, mirror. I believe um Snoop would be like I could be wrong, but I believe Snoop Dogg would be like one of the first people one of the first rappers to cover Slick Rick though. I could be wrong in that statement. If I am, um please tell me. Other than that, he did his song Justice. You know, I can't take anything away from Snoop Dogg in this album in this song. The next track is Murder Was the Case. Um, you know, the notorious song Murder Was the Case. This is arguably the most darkest song, in my opinion, on this album. He basically sh shows like Snoop Dogg's storytelling skills. He, um, he got shot in the song. And like he, the devil approached him and stuff like that. He really like sold his soul to the devil. But that nigga Daz, he's like the devil in the song. So, like I said, very crazy ass song right here. I, when he performed the song, I mean, the source, it was like he performed something like the source awards and, um, I believe the VMAs, yeah. Very, very dope performance. Killed it. It's gonna take a miracle, let's say, for me to walk again and talk again. But anyway, I get fronted some peace to get back on my feet. And everything that nigga said came to reality. Living like a ball alone, having money and blowing hella chronic smoke. I bought my mama a beans and bought my boo-boo a jag. And now I'm rolling in a nine triz a L dog right. Just remember, you changed your mind because when you start set tripping, that ass is mine. Indeed. Also that next year. Um, that next year, next year before, you know, Snoop Dogg, he was accused of murder. And basically, he put out this like 18 minute music video based on this song and called Murder Was a Case. 
was basically through direct by Dr. Dre and Fat Five Freddy, and it was like a it's like based on the song and like he was the soundtrack to it too. A lot of um people were dissing that music video because they thought like Snoop Dogg was basically making fun of his own troubles and stuff like that. Other than that, dope song right here, classic song by many. Next track, Serial Killer, featuring DOC, RBX, and the, and the Dog Pound. Another one of those classic West Coast posse cuts right here. Um, what, what about this song? Like, the Dog Pound, Corrupt, and that nigga Dad. Basically, one of my fav favorite hip-hop duos of all time. Like... Corrupt back in those days, he was a little monster. That's all I have to say. Daz was a very underrated producer and MC. Then you had RBX. He appeared on a lot of like death row stuff, you know. He also appeared on Eminem's Martial Mass LP and of course the DOC. You know, without the DOC, like Dr. Dre or like Lucas Records wouldn't be where it is today. Next song, Who Am I, What's My Name, which was like a single, this was a song I was playing in the background when I started this video, very dope single, um, basically introduced Snoop Dogg to the game, I believe that was actually the first single he released, I believe so, yeah, yeah it was, um, it has like appearances by Joel, was, was singing in the chorus. Um, Joelle, you know, she she's a singer, you know, she was singing a lot of like death row stuff. What else? Next track. For all my niggas and bitches. Featuring the dark pound again. Well actually Snoop Dogg doesn't appear in the song, it's just the dark pound featuring Lady of Rage. I'm in control like Janet, the locust 21 year old nigga that's on this planet, take it for granted, if you wanna, cause I'm gonna, grab my strap and clear the corner, yeah. Dog Pound basically on the game at that time. Lady of Rage, you know, kills. She kills shit. That's all I have to say. Definitely that beat though. Whew, so hardcore. Next track, Ain't No Fun If Your Homies Can't Have None. Featuring Nate Dog, Warren G, and Corrupt. Um, <laughs> This song is just basically about um, like you getting all your love, but your friends aren't even getting nothing and stuff like that. This song is so ill. I, I'm not gonna front. In my opinion, Nate Dogg and Snoop Dogg killed the song. Rest in peace to Nate Dogg.
and then this corrupts first. Favorite songs, The Doggy Dog World, featured Dog Pound and Dramatics. The Dramatics, legendary R&B group from like the 70s. You know, they had songs like What You See Is What You Get, In The Rain, um, Hey You Get Off My Mountain, things of that nature. Like this song is like really cinematic, if you ask me. By the way, um, back to this song. Very, very dope song. In my opinion, it's like my, one of my favorites, probably my favorite song off this album. Like this single, it didn't really get that much like praise. Like a lot of people kind of say this thing was up there with General Juice or oh, What's My Name. In my opinion, this is like the best single on this album, in my opinion. But hey, people have different tastes. As the world keeps spinning to the D-O-W-G-Y It's a crazy world, it's a doggy dog world 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 Well if you give me ten bitches then I'll fuck all ten See my homie Snoop Dogg sipping juice and gin Don't slip, I'm folder set trip to get paper Styles very packing flavor like lifesavers Ain't that something? Talk shit and I'm dumping. I had your whole fucking block pumping. Don't sweat, but check the technique. I'm unique like China. You never find a bomber rama than this nigga behind you. So peekaboo, clear the way. I'm coming By the way, though, like the video of the song, it, it features like Anthony, Antonio Fargas, Fred Berry. Yes, the Fred Berry from What's Happening. Pam Gria, who would later start a movie with Snoop Dogg. And like, it paid homage to like the black exploitation, like era of the 70s and stuff like that. Very dope video. One of my favorite songs of this album. I mean, my favorite song of this album. Basically, and of course, um, my opinion, Daz, he killed this song, in my opinion. We'll give you a little bit of this verse. The dog pound rocks the party all night long till we till the early It don't stop and it up. It don't quit for uh, up. The dog pound click to drop the cabbie no shit. Give me jazz out of the motherfucking cup. One smoke, so grab a seat and grab your gin and juice and check up a flip. I flip flop and serve home. Next song. G's and Hustle. Good morning, boys and girls. I'm your substitute teacher. My name is Mr. Buckley. The topic for today. One another one song where Snoop Dogg freestyled his lyrics and stuff like that. Um, this song, what I got from this song is basically a tribute to like the gangsters and hustlers and stuff like that. Oh, and by the way, the little trivia. Lil Bow Wow, he actually did some background vocals on the song, but he wasn't credited for Because if you know, like, Lil Bow Wow, he was, he was like Snoop Dogg's prodigy and stuff like that. So I thought I was uh, just throw that in there. And I'm high till I desire, reside. So 
check it, I get busy, I make your head dizzy, I blow up your mouth like I was Dizzy Gillespie, I'm crazy, you can't phase me, I'm the S, so yes, I'm fresh, I don't fuck with the stress, I'm all about the chronic, bionic, you see, every single day chillin' with the D-O-double-G, D-O-U-D, that's my clique, my crew, you fuck with us, we got to fuck you up, I thought you knew, but yet you still, you wanna get real, now it's time to feel, you say chill and feel, the motherfucking realism, Snoop Doggy Dogg is on the mic, I'm hitting hard as steel, nigga. This is for the G's, and this is for the hustlers, this is for the hustlers, now back to the G's. This All is right, for um, the G's, and this is for the hustlers. Next song. Pump Pump, featuring Lil Malik. Yeah, this um they messed they messed me up right quick. Hold up. <laughs> Next song is um Jeez yeah. Up Hose Down. This one is to my uh, um, <clears throat> I'm gonna give y'all another trivia. Um This is actually the OG copy of this C D. And like this song, um Jeez Up Hose Down. You can't really find it on like the other like remastered version of the CDs because a sample issues because this song uses that Isaac Hayes sample and stuff like that so I thought I'd just throw that out there in case people are wondering and stuff like that so whatever that's why um, on my they just put they made a mistake of putting pump pump before this so for my DJ Warren G. Now as I look for the buzz, Zach, and see where my love's at, on the lake where the dub's at, cognac is the drink that's drank by G. Sagging like a motherfucker, khakis to they knees, bitch, please. You know how we do the undercover, I'm Snoop Dogg and Dog, not your average motherfucker, see. Some of you don't know about the G-Bang, baby. It's the smooth things, the shit that be driving you crazy. Now as you move to the beat, and you move to the sound, I'ma hit you up with the pound, G's up, ho. Next song. Now it's Pump Pump. Featuring Lil Malik. Very, very dope song. I love this beat on it and stuff like that. Check this out. it scale of one to ten i get this a 10 out of 10 this is a hip-hop classic right here like one of my favorite songs i mean one of my favorite albums no fuck it um my favorite album from snoop dogg in my opinion the thing about snoop dogg is like mm, like i said i know i can understand why people say this is, people say this is the best album but a lot of time people like they, that, and they're like biased at times because yeah he put out some whack albums like the game is to be the game is sold or like he put out whack albums in his career like Mouse on Wonderland and that one other album he did but at, some, at the same time like 
He put out some really like, dope underrated joints like my favorite albums. One of my favorite albums he did was No Lim No No Limit Top Dog. That was a slept on album. The Last Meal. I loved um Blue Carpet Treatment was that was the okay that was a cool album. And I'm gonna surprise some fan, but The Dog Father was actually another dope album he did. And you know the my only problem with The Dog Father, to be honest. His lyricism was tight, but the production, some of the production on this, it was, the album was, it was kind of eh, and I, I might do a review on the album one day, but if you're a fan of like early 90s hip hop, West Coast hip hop, G-Funk, the, 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 um, the Death Row Records era, you most definitely love this album. This is a hip hop classic. This album was actually... Had like a lot of outtakes too and stuff like that, and it was re-released many times, like a lot of times. The most most recent re-release was in 2011 and stuff like that. So, pick this album up, and that's all the time I have. Stay tuned for more stuff. Peace.